2013 has arrived, and so too will a flurry of comets and solar flares over the next 12 months. But relax, Chicken Little, the sky isn't falling. Astronomers are simply giving notice for a once-in-a-lifetime event so that everyone can enjoy the celestial wonders. Our Paul E. points them out. Millions of stars dot the night sky, often from light that has traveled for millions of years from distant galaxies. But there is one kind of celestial body that has time and again caught our attention with its brilliant tails and colorful halos. Comets will be making a big return in 2013, with two scheduled to pass within the year. The first dazzling display of a giant hunk of ice and gas hurtling through space will begin on March 13th. The Pan-STARRS comet will be able to be seen on the western horizon in the northern hemisphere. Another stunning comet, dubbed ISON, will be making its appearance in November as it's likely to dive into the sun in a blaze of glory. There are two chances to observe comets this year, in March and December. The December comet in particular will have an overall brightness that is 15 times that of the full moon, so it's expected to be readily seen by the naked eye. Comet Ison is predicted to become the comet of the century. It has the potential to be many times brighter than the moon, making it even visible in broad daylight throughout the world. However, our own sun may be providing a different kind of light show this year. Solar storms are expected to peak sometime in the near future, unleashing waves of flares that could wreak havoc on the Earth's magnetosphere and cause damage to communication and electrical systems. For better or worse, humanity this year will be keeping their eyes on the sky. We have three comets that are going to be visible this year. 2013 is going to go down as the year of comets for us. There is a comet already out there. Guess what its name is? Comet Lemon. It was discovered by Mount Lemon Sky Survey, part of the University of Arizona's astronomy program up on top of the mountain. It's coming to the northern hemisphere. It will be visible to us in April. Right now it's in the southern hemisphere sky. Here's a picture of it. It's got a little faint tail coming off. It is surprising astronomers by being much brighter than they thought it would be. This is actually through a telescope, so even in the southern hemisphere they can't see it with their naked eye yet, but that will change. This comet is made up, of course, of a ball of, it is a ball of ice and rocks, and the gases that are coming off of it when the ice sublimates as solar radiation hits it from the sun, it's cyanogen and diatomic carbon. Why do we care about that? Makes it glow green. A green comet, not all that common for us. Where is this comet coming from? You know, it only visits the Earth, they think, every 11,000 years. So we're going to be very lucky to see this one. It's 100,000 times the distance from the sun to the Earth from us way out there. And um, that's why it takes 11,000 years to make that cycle around the sun. We'll remind you as the day gets closer so you can stock up on snacks and beverages, but a comet is coming, a big and brilliant comet arriving in November 2013. It could potentially be 15 times brighter than the moon and visible in broad daylight over the U.S. We will be your comet network and we'll keep you updated. <laughs> Late this year, there's a new comet that's going to blaze across the sky. Experts say Ison is going to be dazzling. That is late November. The brilliance lighter, brighter than the full moon. Chad Myers uh, is going to actually show us a little bit uh, a preview here. Hey, Chad. This could be really cool. I mean, I watched Haley's Comet as a, as a kid go across the sky. I'm kind of not really a kid. I was older than a kid, but okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, that might have been a little disappointing to some. And we don't know exactly how great comets will be until they get here. Here because the tail here, the, the moisture coming off, the ice being flown off, and the tail here, uh, north sky here. This is from a, a website. You can go on to eagleseye.me.uk. We found this yesterday. Dave Eagle made these from Sky Safari. So December 10th, 2013, a huge streak is what it will look like, we hope, across the sky looking to the east. Before that, it will be one side of the sky to the other. And on the 18th, it will actually be streaking across the western sky. Could be briefly, at least for a while brighter than the full moon, visible to the naked eye for sure, and possibly rivaling, we believe, the great comet of 1680, which you will find actually in ancient paintings 
That's how cool this comet was. Painters of the time actually painted about this comet. We'll see wow. if this one lives among up. The, the greatest comets. Yeah, you, you don't know. We don't know until it gets here because if it falls apart or if it melts too early, then it's not going to be a great comet. But all indications right now that this could be the coolest thing we've seen in our sky in our lifetime. Where is it going to be most visible, Chad? Where can we see it? It's going to go all across the sky, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere for a change. We had Lovejoy last year that was only southern hemisphere. Didn't get to see very much of it up here. Didn't get other than on pictures, but this will be all across the globe.